Dear brothers and sisters, it's very painful what the world is passing through at this time. We can see how the Holy Father is trying to lift us up spiritually with prayer and the word of consolation. As the Syrian people, we have gone through very difficult times. We should not panic about the news. It can indeed cause us to panic. I said it many times that one of the most difficult things about the war in Syria has been the media. The bad news affected all of us. So in this situation of the coronavirus pandemic, don't panic about the news. Follow all the instructions about health care. Yes, we have faith in our Lord, but we cannot expect a magic solution to come from prayer. Our faith, I can describe it, is uh, not like a a pressing a magic bottom and expecting everything to be okay. The pain and the suffering is there, but also we mustn't forget that the resurrection is there every day. Our life is like a, a medal we might wear. On one side, the face is full of pain and suffering, but on the other side is the resurrection with our Lord with a face free from all kinds of suffering. We need to trust Lord, but not to put him in test. We must also do our best. I remember when bombs were falling all the time, we had no option but to stay at home. The Lord was there with us, but we knew we had to stay at home during the most difficult times. This is the most important thing we can do now. We need to help family members. We need to help our friends. We need to help those who are most in need. We need to help each other. Lift each other's spirits and things will pass. Here in Syria, the government has closed schools and universities. Government employees have been sent home. The churches have stopped all the activities. Uh, Churches have been closed and they don't have masses. We try to be very careful. Really, it would be a disaster um, if there was a coronavirus outbreak here. Hospitals don't have enough equipment, especially as you know, Syria is passing through the most difficult time because of the war. The borders are closed. It is very important to respect what the church and the government are asking of us to help to protect our people. In Aleppo, our group of volunteers are continuing visiting homes where it is safe to do so and taking great care. We are helping the old people especially because so many of them have no other support and in Damascus our sisters are helping some old people in buying for them what they need so they will not have to go out. People have nothing to rely on. How will they survive? We are giving them the things they need, our usual Christmas effort funded by the aid to the church in need enabled us to offer more than 22,000 children from all over Syria, a pair of jeans and a warm sweater. And you will imagine the, the joy of our children. But with this time, the elderly people in Aleppo received a pair of warm shoes. Now, these days, the help continues, especially those with elderly people dependent on on them, continue to receive supermarket vouchers and cash towards their uh, basic needs. Other families receive help with their rent. Of course, this is time and opportunity to say to all our ACN benefactors, we say very sincerely thank you for your enormous generosity. 
You have helped us for so many years and you continue to do so. Thank you from all of us in Syria and may God continue to bless you and to keep you and your family safe and well.